Good morning and thank you so much for joining me again for Empowerment Monday. Today I wanted to talk with you briefly about leaping into your destiny, leaving Egypt and entering into your wealthy place. I want us to stop selling ourselves short um, and we must stop believing the lies of Satan. For we must know who we are in God and know that the power that we possess. But God has given us the, the keys to the kingdom and we have to utilize those keys. No longer do we allow fear, doubt low self-esteem and those things to hinder us but we are to enjoy life and enjoy it more abundantly I also want to let you know that you are not a failure your past mistakes yes they are just that mistakes but we take those things for the Word of God says that all things work together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose so what that means is every mistake every dilemma every situation no matter the outcome God still he has it in control and you have to know that it's all working together for your good okay so yes you may have made a bad decision yes you may have failed but you dust your feet you repent and you get back up and you keep moving forward I was just in a service on yesterday and the man of God was saying how we have to forget those things that lie behind us and press toward toward the things that God have for us. How can you move forward if you're looking back? How stop talk watch your conversations. Stop talking about yesterday. But you believe God and you thank God for today. For the word of God says in Hebrews eleven and one that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So you begin to speak what you want to see in your whatever God has showed you, whatever you believe your future will consist of, you you go ahead and praise God now. Jane Fortune he has a song on his new identity uh, CD saying praise him now. So what that means is that you go ahead and praise God now. Don't wait until the storm is over. Don't wait until the you've already passed the test. But you already know you're going to do that for we are overcomers and we're more than conquerors. But go ahead and praise God now. See what counts and what matters is that we can praise him while we're in our dry season. That we can praise him before the blessing come. Okay? So again we're talking about leaping into our destiny. Leaving Egypt and entering into our wealthy place um, for the Bible says that better is the end of a thing than the beginning so it doesn't matter how you start my friend my sister my brother but what matters is how you end okay and we're already victorious in Jesus but we have the greater one that resides on the inside of us and it's vital some of these things I repeat because I want you to grab hold unto the Word of God I want you to know who you are but when you know who you are you know you 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 no longer believe what the enemy says. You no longer believe his lies. For that's what he does. He's a deceiver. He wants to taint everything that God has ordained for your life. He wants to destroy us. But how many can say not today that we will embrace the call of God upon our lives. We will um, walk into our purpose and we will be all who God has created us to be. So again, I encourage you to stand. I encourage you to move forward. I encourage you to let go and let go. God. And remember, we are leaping into our wealthy place, but getting those things that lie before that are behind us and pressing forward. Okay, so you have a great day and a great week. And remember to check us out on the web, womenofstandard.net. Love you much. God bless.